YouTube, it's Tia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special friend with me, Salem. Why don't you tell them who you are and where you're from, Salem? Hi guys, uh, my name is Salem Elias and I live in Sweden. I have a fashion blog and I also have a YouTube channel. Yes, she does. And we're here today to do um, the language tag for you guys. Well, not the language tag, it's kind of modified a little bit. Basically, Salem is going to tell me some Swedish words and I have to guess what they are. And I'm mm. going to tell her some Italian words and she has to guess what they are. It's going to be interesting because actually Salem comes to Italy all the time. Her boyfriend is Italian. She knows a no. little bit of Italian. No, I've but... never heard Swedish before. What is Swedish? <laughs> Let's get started. Who want you? Do you want to go first, or am I gonna you go, go first? first? You go first. All right. So the first Italian word on my list is borsa. Okay, that uh, that one I knew. <laughs> you knew it. I mean, I love bags. I told you. I love bags. Yo, so, no, but seriously, Italian. I go I go shopping here. So bag is. <laughs> That's bag, right? That's yeah. something I have to know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, fine. You go. Okay, mine is sneak. Sneak? Is that like wink? No, no. Is that um, smile? No, it has nothing to do with your face. Well, face? Maybe. No, maybe it does have to do with your face. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. You have it on your face. Lipstick? Eyes? Eyebrows? Don't necessarily think about like one part of your face. Think it more as your. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, smink? I don't know. <laughs> Cheeks? No. Basically, smink means makeup. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was going easy on you, but what about this one? No. <laughs> your next one is pizzaiolo. 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 Yes. Oh my god! I don't know that one. <laughs> but pizza, mm -hmm. isn't that pizza? It does have something to do with pizza. And then what was the, what was the second one? Pizzaiolo. Say pizza. it again? Pizzaiolo. Pizzaiolo. So you said it has something to do with pizza? Yes. Uh, oh my god, I have no idea. No idea? Do you want me to tell you? Give me a hint. Um. Okay, you can have pizzaiolo, mm -hmm. pizzaiola, pizzaioli, and pizzaiole. So you know it's like a noun. Yeah, okay, it's a pizza maker. Pizza maker. Okay. No, for the longest time I could not say pizzaiolo. Like the word, when I see it written, it looks to me like piazzaiolo or something weird, yeah, and I could yeah. never say it. But then somebody was like, I listened to it, and I realized it's just pizza and yolo. You know, like you only live once. Pizza yeah. yolo. And if you remember it like that, you'll always be able to say the guy that makes the pizzas. See, I didn't know that. Okay, what's okay. the next one? Hit me. Boo. What? Boo. Boo? <laughs> Boo. Boo. Is Boo. it painting? No. It rolls. It rolls your tongue? <laughs> Wheels? Keep going. Cars? Yeah. Cars. Cars? You're in for cars? Is it rolls? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I said like, oh, you can hear them outside, or oh, it's something you drive it, like, you know. Oh <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Alright, your next one is Machina. Car. Ah, uh, that was easy. She no, speaks Italian. <laughs> These aren't even like easy, easy words. I'm doing another so one. Okay. I'm doing another one. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hit me. What about. Calore. Calore. Color? No, calore. Yeah, no, but it sounds like color. Yeah, that's colore. Is it color? No. Calo calore? Si. No, yeah. Calore, give me a hint. <sighs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> See, it's hard, give me a hint. This is what happens when mm. you're wearing a lot of sweaters. I guess. Sweat? No. Sweat? No. <laughs> Start sweating? I don't know. Hot, you said hot was it's, warm. It's heat. Heat. See, calore is heat. Yeah, that one was a little tricky. Okay, you can hit me with the next one. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah. we have smink, mm -hmm. makeup, and boo. Bill. 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 Okay, yeah. It's a car. Yeah. And now, veska. Veska. Is that sweater? No. You 
said you were gonna give me words that sounded like English. Yeah, wait, they're a little bit down, but I guess I didn't Visca? come up in the beginning. Yeah, mm -hmm. Visca. Question? No. It's more of a thing than like, you were closer when you said sweater than a th Jacket? No. It's an accessory. Purse? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, that's good. Rosetto. What? Rosetto. Is it a color? No. Well, I mean, they come in many colors. Give me a hint. More. You can get them at MAC. Makeup? Mm, Eyeshadow? It's a type. No. Is it something? Um, mm -hmm. It's lipstick? a type of makeup. Yeah, Lips? it's lipstick. What was it? Rosetto. Wow. Rosetto, if you're a real Italian. I'm not a real Italian, guys. Please pardon my pronunciation. Button. Button? Is that button? No. Water? Yeah. Ah, there you go. Good. Yeah. Lacrima. Say what? Lacrima. Okay, this one is hard. I'm not even gonna front. Lacrima. They roll down your face. Oh, that totally gave it away. They roll. Oh, tears. Yeah, it's a Aww. tear. The next word is lamp up. Lamp? Yeah. Yeah! See, I'm getting more easy. <laughs> like, I put the hard ones in the beginning. Why? <laughs> this one's easy. It's bacho. What? Bacho. Bacho? Yeah. Your boyfriend's never said that to you? <laughs> Give me a bacho? Is it food? No. Well, I guess you could eat them. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, yes! Yes! You could eat them? Yes! Give me a hint. They're a brand of chocolate, a really famous brand of chocolate in in Italy. And also, if you translate the word to English, there's one type of candy called this in America. What was it? Bacio. Bacio? Mm -hmm. Usually associated with love. Kiss? Yes! Kiss. Oh, you know, like little Hershey kisses, oh. and they have like the. Mommy, he usually says in Swedish. Oh, bluma, bluma, blue? No, he has nothing to do. Pants? No. Underwear? Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know. Flower. Uh, or pla like yeah, okay. flower. That one. I okay. Okay, you gave. A I don't know. I don't trust that that hint. If I say something, it has a sense though because in English, flowers bloom. Yeah. Like, see, it's a verb. Mm. All right, you got me. All right, what about prego? Careful. There's like five different meanings for prego. No, I'm kidding. We'll go with the easiest one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, prego means like, um, you're welcome. Yep, you're welcome. Oh, uh, gone. What? Oh, uh, gone. Open? Yeah. Are they eyes? Mm. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I figured that out. Yeah. But... All right, so the next one I have for you is, it could be really easy, I guess. Mm -hmm. Chiesa. What? Chiesa. House? No, that's ca casa. Casa. Chiesa? Um, it's a type of building, and there's a lot of them in Italy and Europe. In Church? Place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last one. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yaka jacket. Yeah. Yep, that's German right there. Woo! <laughs> Yaka. How do you know German? Do you speak German? I'm taking German. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, I've seen some of your vlogs in, in the Swedish, mm -hmm. and some words are like German. Like, wait. But, uh, <laughs> like, tag? Isn't tag? Day? Dog. Yeah, dog. Oh, okay, dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, because tag in German means well, tag, really. Guten Tag is day and oh. good day. Yeah. And like Guten Morgen yeah, is good morning. morning. Yeah, it's like it, same. I yeah. saw some similarities, yeah. but man, those other words you gave me, I don't know where those came from. <laughs> Alright guys, yeah, so that was our tag, Italian versus Swedish. Yep. Uh, I hope you guys found that it was entertaining mm -hmm. um feel free to check out salem's channel and her blog i'm gonna have everything linked below so you guys can find her <laughs> you know what to do yep. like subscribe comment share <laughs> and um i guess i'll see you guys in the next one bye thanks for having me no
Like the title of this video says, this video is about the 10 things that I love about Milan. I recently saw a video on YouTube that was 5 things to hate and love about Milan, but the only thing that I had a problem with was the 5 things to hate about Milan were all pretty inaccurate and untrue. Milan is literally the most underrated city 